50k. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. Good morning, guys. So it's back to school. It's 6 30 right now. I actually have to head out, but it's back to school season in Jamaica. So a lot of places are always doing give backs to the community, and I love to see it because it's always necessary, you know. Some families they try their best with sending a lot of children to school and they have to do medical down here which is like they have to do a health assessment just so they can go to school every year so i'm going to be volunteering with a pharmacy in spallings that i go to a lot I actually like it. well one of the newer pharmacies in spallings it's modern and it's high end it opens early it closes later when i say later like six o'clock and it opens on sundays it opens on sundays at a good time and it closes at a good time on sunday Day too so it's a seven day week pharmacy the pharmacist i don't know where they got them from but they don't judge they don't judge they don't give anyone a hard time when they're buying things from them if you're a girl you know and i just like it so i wanted to volunteer with the pharmacy to they're doing a give back today i'm going to try and record as much as i can so they're giving back let's see so they're doing a health fair j win i'll put it on the screen so you guys can read with me so they're doing free back to school medical and dental examinations free blood pressure checks free blood glucose check free eye testing and other free screen and then they're gonna have like back to school giveaways 10% off all prescription and other special discounts and it's gonna be great so and every and the customer service at this pharmacy is great as well so I only promote people that I'm, I'm like yeah I like it I like it a lot so come along with me we're gonna go because I have to run out right now I have to be there for seven because it starts at eight so come. I'm so excited. Oh, also another thing I went to was a fun day for kids at Homewood and I brought some kitties because the principal at Homewood, he does a supposedly an annual fun day that's for the community and you can come. Everything is free. All the rides are free. Entertainment's free. They're doing giveaways. They're having live entertainment. Every single ride there was free for the kitties. And then almost everything was there was free except the food and drinks and like the food and drinks was literally pocket change. It was $100 for cotton candy for kids and popcorn and snow cones, like $100, yeah. So it was amazing. And then the principal of Homewood gave away like more than one, like a stack of books to every child, pencils and pens. And if you're going into grade seven, he gave away backpacks. It was amazing. I loved it. And I was like, wow, times have really changed in Jamaica because like more and more people are giving back more than ever. And I love to see it. Yeah, anyways, let's go. I'm gonna switch to my phone because I'm volunteering. I can't have my camera out the whole entire time. Let's go. I'm so excited. Okay, here's the place. Okay, here it is, J. Wynn Pharmacy. Okay, inside. Okay, I have my shirt. J. Wynn, and it says volunteer at the back. No, I don't think you guys can. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see. Anyways, I made it on time, so. They're setting up still, so I'll bring you guys outside and then you guys will see. They're still setting up here. This is before. Hi, morning. I'm, I'm up the camera. Okay, I won't put you. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, so here it is here. Okay, I'm filling out the forms. The ticket number. Blah 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 blah. What's your name? Here it is so far. M A. Okay. Writing down. Writing down. Love can be leveraged. Don't you think it's time? Don't you think it's time? So it's time to say love can be leveraged. No matter where covers a multitude of sin, everybody. And we are here to help you. So help us, let us help you guys. Okay? Yes. And again, we're going to say, St. John 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world, that he gave the only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And I say, love can be every. All right, so I'm doing the gate for everyone going down. So they have me being the greeter i guess they like my personality and then i can show you guys how it's set up now so this is the building hello um what number do you have so this is the stage here okay. okay guys so 
I'm here volunteering. And hi, where are you guys going? You guys are going down? You guys have a ticket? Miss! Check one. Okay, so I'm starting the volunteering now. Um, and I'm just going to be here for yeah. a few hours. So I'm going to try and record as much as I can. You know, music's playing everything, but it's, it's good so far. It's a nice give back to the community. And that's it. Hello. Hi, miss. Hi. Hi, miss. Hey. Check one, two, yeah. Testing, testing. Check one, two. We're ready again for the second thousand. Yes, sir. Walk around, yes, sir. Because you can't get the first thousand dollars. A thousand dollars you get? You get thousand dollars? All right, good. What's your name, man? Latisha. Latisha. Courtesy of Jay Win, you're the winner of our first first giveaway this morning. Yay. But Natisha, you have to do something for the you can just get your money and go. So come here, come here, come here. DJ, give me one, 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 one. Okay, they're starting off, they're doing giveaways so far. Alright, they're doing giveaways and stuff. So. You see, because before the big entertainer them come, me like perform before Everybody the entertainer the them come in because. Ah. Yeah, may I look up both Alright, so now they're starting now. They're doing eye test everything. So here it is here. Taking lines. Blood pressure checks. They're doing blood pressure. They're doing eye testing. So dentists. Oh, you can go down to do clean your teeth, okay? Okay. So they're doing teeth cleaning. Over there, everyone is involved here. So teeth cleaning, eye testing, checking blood pressure. So we have doctors doing medical here. And then we have people here too. Medical. It's whoever she this lady's supposed to be controlling medical. Your co-worker. I know for a fact the kids loved it because they were running up and down, going off and on the stage, winning prizes, eating, and all those great things. It's alright. Hey, take two pencil and go. 
So we're watching the Olympics and we're using the projector. Fantastic. And we have it. So we're gonna watch the four by four mix. From Edwin Allen. Okay, we're going to the Riva. We have to drive out this van since my mom's not here, so that's the only reason why I'm driving into Bahana. Say hi. Hi. Hey, guys, guys, we're at a Riva in Porus. <laughs> This is a perfect place to bring you guys. If you guys have families and stuff, you guys can bring them as I was showing you guys and telling you guys. This is at St. Tuli's River. And they have a waterfall here. Yay! Okay, so we're just here. I didn't do my hair or anything. I, just, I was at the waterfall, which is behind me. But honestly, if you guys live in Manchester and you guys were bored, Let's go on my TikTok. I have a TikTok of things to do, family friendly things to do in Man uh, Manchester. And I have a video on my YouTube channel as well. So I'll link that too for you guys. Okay, coconuts. There's actually so much in it too. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I told you to rent for parties and stuff, and birthday parties probably. All right, we're going to courts now. They're doing something up here. When it's done, I'll come, go up there and show you guys. It looks like you can rent it out for events, but here we are. All right, anyways. We're here in Christiane at the new plaza where courts is. And Teresa's getting her hair done, so I'm gonna bring you guys along. Look at this big, huge bean pie. Can feel like the going down. Okay, I'm gonna buy some chicken and feeding, so you're gonna come with me inside a Dara Trading and Farm Supplies and Spallings. So we're in Spallings right now. Okay, we're gonna get one dozen of these and then some feeding. Hi! <laughs> so far enough. Okay, I just paid. Yay! You think it'll be too hot in the trunk for them? You wanna put them on a box here? I don't know, what do you think? You should know more. Guys, here they are. They're so small and cute. I'm gonna show you guys where we put them after, okay? I have to get a few more stuff. This is the best farm store in Spallings and the cleanest. Like, look how clean. You can literally drop something and eat. And they actually know all the prices of everything on here. And they're not rude. Okay, we're gonna get, see? Oh, you don't see it on here. Yeah, I'm gonna show you, it's 5,000. Oh yeah, it's 5,000. Hi. And I see him back I see him. Yeah, that's what I said. We gotta bend bed at a different one though. Hi, I came back from right. water boots. Oh, and I need hog feeding feeding too. Pardon? Huh? I thought we know the Okay, so I thought it was seven, he said. How much is the corn here? Oh, it's the same. No, it's cheaper by $100. Oh, do you have um flea powder for dogs? No, no. Okay, how much do I owe you now? Okay, $5,500. Oh, I forgot to show you guys that we got chicken back too for the dogs. Then we bought corn and hog feeding. Okay, here's the chicks. They're in here. As you can see, 
and then we're gonna this is for the rabbits we move the rabbits down here Yay! What is this doggy waiting for? We need to know what you're waiting for. All done. Okay, I'm gonna go and do these meshes here. Okay, so I'm gonna get this tomorrow. Hi, I'm back. I had so much fun volunteering. It was so rewarding and I miss volunteering. I used to volunteer a lot in Jamaica. So I wanna do some more. I also, like a lot of people feel like I don't give back or I don't do anything in Jamaica. I just don't record it. I don't record, I do a lot of community initiatives in the community, we repaint a lot of things, we put up lights, we clean up the roads and all that stuff, but I just don't post it. I will only do it on a grand scale, like when it's big things like that, because when it's smaller within my community, I don't really want you guys to know exactly where I live, so I try not to show those things. People in real life know, like people in Jamaica in real life, in the areas that I know, they know all the stuff that we do, because we always have to give back. Anyways, so I am going to come on camera and I want to talk to you guys how I do Bible study now I always believed in God I grew up in church my whole entire life it says raise your children in the way that when they grow older they shall not depart from those same ways as well which I agree it's not like I ever stopped believing in God or praying or anything listen I grew up my whole 18 years of life that we had to pray before we go to bed <laughs> I wake up every morning and give a little short prayer and get up. So I know certain scriptures from front to end because of that. So it's not that I ever departed from God, but I feel like I want to tap more into it and read the Bible more and just have a greater understanding. I'm growing older now. When I have children and I get married and everything, I want my children to ra be raised in church. I want to set a good example of me going to church so my children can believe in God as well and practice God's teachings And because I just feel like it's very important. I'm growing older. I'm becoming more conservative, but I'm not a perfect person. And just because I'm doing Bible study and I'm believing God, it's not saying that I am perfect. I'm a perfect person. No, I am growing and learning myself. I have my ways. I have my flaws. And that's why I want to get closer to God because I want to know the proper teachings in life of how to be a better person, how to learn forgiveness. Listen, I am trying forgiveness so much in my life right now. Like I am. And it's much more harder said than done. Jesus said for us to forgive others just like how he always forgives us and man when i read it i was like yeah of course blah, blah. no it's actually harder sometimes people do things to you and you get hurt and you cry and the same vice versa you may do things to people i may do stuff to people that hurt them and you know we have to forgive these people and it's really hard because sometimes you forgive people and they just do the same thing back to you or it doesn't get any better so I'm working, putting my trust in God, and that's what I'm doing. So I wanna share with you guys my cute little Bible study. I use the King James Version. I have a lot of Bibles, but this one I'm using for my study Bible. I could... People are probably saying, why are you using the King James Version? I grew up on that version of the Holy Bible. The scriptures that I know from back to front in my head is in the King James Version, and I just like it. It's just something I'm used to and I know, so I'm just gonna continue. In the church we go to, you guys can watch my Sunday vlog in Jamaica, and if you watch my Toronto vlogs, you'll see the church that I go to because they have a location in Canada and Jamaica. I use the King James Version, that's the first thing. But even though I use the King James Version, I also go on the internet and I, I use the Bible Study Project. I'll have it on the screen. I love the Bible Study Project. Whenever I start any chap new chapters in the Bible, I go and go on YouTube, I watch, I search up that, book the name of the book sorry i said chapter but the name of the book so if i'm doing ruth i love ruth by the way ruth is such a good book if you don't know the book of ruth i like it because i love how like she was raised in a certain place where the king was sacrificing the young virgin girls and drinking their blood because he was saying he wanted everlasting life and strength and power to rule over his nation and they were all encouraging it and it was just the norm right until he met someone that believed in she met someone that believed in god and it changed her whole perspective of life and i loved it and so say if i'm doing ruth i 
I will go on the Bible study project, search up Ruth, get a synopsis and summary of the book of Ruth, and then go in to the Bible and go through every single chapter, right? So you can have a kind of idea. And then I maybe if there's movies on the book of Ruth, like that people made, I'll go watch the movie, the book of Ruth, so I can have an idea. And then I'll do my Bible study. I do that a lot, and you guys should do so you guys can have like a full 360 understanding of every single book that you're reading in the Bible. Yes, we love it. Now, people always ask, also, where should I start when I'm doing my Bible study? Now, I feel like if you're doing Bible study, where you should start is whatever book in the Bible interests you the most. If Revelations interests you the most, start off with the book of Revelations. I love Revelations. I love a lot of books in the Bible, to be honest. I just like the Bible. Get a summary of every book in the Bible and then you can pick, figure out what you want to start off with. Again, go on the internet and look up the summary of every book of the Bible. I'm currently on the book of Proverbs. Love, 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 the book of Proverbs. After when I'm done the book of Proverbs, I'm I'm gonna be like, what's next? Because even when I'm reading in this book of Proverbs, let me show you guys how my thing looks right now. I'm just like, this is too good. Like God is too good, so. I was like, I love this. Now, before you study the Bible, you have to pray. You have to pray. And I'm going to tell you guys exactly what to pray for because a lot of people don't know. I didn't know this until, until recently. When you're going to start your Bible studying, you're going to pray to God and you're going to say, God, please. I'm just going to say it in just regular terms. Don't let the devil distract you when you're studying the Bible and trying to interpret his words. Please don't let the devil distract you because the devil was distracting different ways, make you tired so you want to sleep or he's gonna put like all these random thoughts in your mind that is gonna occupy you from staying focused. The second thing is that you're gonna have to ask him to open up your mind, to accept his word, to accept his wisdom, to learn new things. And you're just gonna overall ask God to guide you today on this Bible study journey and help me understand what I'm reading and make this good, which is gonna be good. So those are the things you ask and then you start into your Bible study and it works. I see the difference. Before I used to try and Bible study in the past, these are, this was like years ago, and I never made it past a verse because I would end up getting sleepy or I would fall asleep or I would get distracted or I'd have to read over like a whole chapter. Like when I mean chapter, I mean like, oh, verse five, chapter 12, verse five. Like, you know a chapter? I would have to read it over like five times because I didn't even know what I just read in the sense that like I was getting distracted and my mind wasn't focusing. Ask God to make you focus on the word and it's gonna work. So I compared then to now and every time I pray and ask God, to let this devil get out of my mind when I'm Bible studying it works man so you guys do it prayer actually works okay a next a next thing that it comes to Bible studying I heard that when like well I don't know if this is the same but well prayer is a whole different topic to talk about because I learned from my mom the other day that you can pray throughout during certain hours of the day and like your prayers will be more not saying it's gonna be like not received if it's not gonna happen but your prayers are more received that time and certain hours are more you work harder you pray around the clock because the devil is doing his shenanigans around the clock the devil works 24 8 guys so we should be praying 24 8 so anyways the Bible will change your life I see the difference from people who whose parents didn't grow them up in church to ch people on this planet who were raised in church like it, you can see the big difference because as an adult you always end up going back to God if the devil doesn't have a stronghold on your life so the second thing you're gonna want when it comes to Bible studying well it's up to you with me I like using white cart cartridge paper at Walmart I think it was ten dollars well they call it multi-purpose paper as you can see it's white and plain you can either decide if you want a notebook whether it's a small one a big one or you want to do it electronically on your iPad I have an iPad too but I'm not an electronic girl when it comes to studying I have to write everything down because I retain information better that way so you have to figure out what your style is here's mine oh sorry I forgot to tell you guys a lot of people are wondering like obviously first you need a Bible you can get Bibles on Amazon but you you can go to bookstores. There's a lot of Bible stores or bookstores if you're in Canada's chapter. I was gonna say chapters. Oh my God, you guys should know my age. Indigo and there's Bible bookstores. You can check your local areas, but if not, you can go on Amazon. Now, when it comes to the version that you want to get, it depends on what you can understand and manage. I grew up on the King James, so that's why I'm still using it, okay? I grew up my whole, I'm 27 right now, so I went 27 years of using the King James version, so. Now there's different versions and I think it's just like trying translation for you to have a more understanding because well the King James version's more they say is closest to the old language the old teaching the next thing that I had to do was my writing stuff so here's my little yeah and highlighters 
markers, more highlighters. I have so much gel pens, okay? And then I have just like some regular pens too, like black. Now this is my little dash here for my, I only use this for Bible studying. Now I got this all from Dollar Tree, but someone told me the other day on TikTok, you guys can follow me on TikTok at Anisha Adams. Someone told me the other day on TikTok that now they have highlighters that don't bleed through the Bible here when you're highlighting, but they didn't really bleed through when I did my highlighting, but I'm still gonna buy them because why not? I like color, so I'm gonna use color. So that's why I have everything that I have is all color. Colorful colors 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 you have to tailor your Bible studying to you everything that you like tailor it to you next I'm gonna show you guys my Bible study notes. So I wanted to give you guys a synopsis of My notes for the book of Proverbs. Okay, I have a lot. I have a lot. I have a lot I'm just gonna give you guys like a very light overview so you guys can have an idea of how I do my stuff Maybe you guys can take some stuff from what I do and put it towards your I don't really care I'm just here to share and help everybody for the book of Proverbs here I put the name at the top right I try to make it fun interesting Ooh, in colors and then I put basically a synopsis of what the book is the book of judgment justice wisdom and equity I have in the top here there's something here that says commonly used words so on page 733 I have the page numbers right here on 733 there's commonly I see words that God keeps on using repetitively throughout page 733 in the book of Proverbs. So it's wisdom, understanding, wicked, righteous, lying, fool, adultery, and death. These words continuously is being shown, so I'm gonna write these down. And for all these words, I know the definition for each one. I made sure, because when you're doing your Bible study, if you see things that God keeps on repeating over and over again, write it down, because clearly he's trying to ingrain in our minds that this is actually important. These two phrases was what God used a lot through, on page 73, long life and morally right. When I do my Bible study, right, I try to make it fun and interesting interesting honestly on page 733 I didn't get all this information but 733 started this tea chart that I created which when I continued reading throughout the entire chapter I just added in this tea chart okay because when it comes to Bible studying I would say group a lot of the teaching that he shares throughout so he talks about adultery a lot but he doesn't only talk about it in one chapter on on one pages he talks about it throughout the whole entire book. So I have a whole section on adultery. So I just made a little section on a different page and all my pages are one-sided. They're not double-sided. It's only one-sided because it's white paper and I'm using markers. So I'm gonna show you guys. So I wrote adultery and this, all this information about adultery here, it's a lot. It's from throughout the book of Proverbs and I'm not even done yet. So every time I'm reading throughout, no matter what the page number is, I'm gonna add onto this chart. And once I reach the end, which I have here, I'm gonna start another page and I'm gonna add adultery again and make it look fancy and nice. So here's adultery right here. And then I put, there's three chapters on this alone. Five, chapter five, chapter six, and chapter seven. So these are things I gradually added under this section while I was reading. So here I put, because he talks about this a lot, the righteous people and the wicked people. What's gonna happen to the evil and ungodly people and, and what's gonna happen to people who are morally right. So here's the morally right, he's happy, he gets, the tree of life, he gets sunshine, he gets fruits, he, which is like food and all these like positive things in life. And life is just good, right? And then God talks about a lot of characteristics of the morally right, which is generosity, integrity, kindness, right? And then on the wicked, as you can see, we have someone going oh, like they're shrieking because it's like, oh my God. So I drove, I drove like thunder and lightning because he does talk about your world's gonna get turned upside down. He uses the word hypocrite. He talks about tail bearers, which is people who love said, um, sharing news around that is not in their place to share news. On the righteous side, he talks about you'll be wealthy and rich, so you get fruits of blind labor. Um, you're smart, you think about the future, you're loving, understanding, you're living in your truth. God helps you through all these troubles because you are righteous with God and you believe in him. You're delivered from death. You don't want to be sent to death when you're living an ungodly lifestyle. You're going to experience thirst, hunger, you're, hunger, you're foolish, you're checked too much basically. You're there's going to be ruins throughout your life. So bad things are going to constantly be happening to you. You're going to be you're going to experience a lot of pain and death always in conflict, hatred in the heart, slanders others by making false statements of someone. You're gonna have overwhelming feelings of fear and dread. Dingy with giving. People will always think negative slash name forgotten of this person. That really um, stuck to me because when you're wicked in life, people will always think negative about you. Whenever they think about you, it's gonna be negative stuff. And when you die, your name's gonna be forgotten. People are not gonna remember you. Even like small things that I, I read, like say if I read a verse and I'm like, oh my God, he's basically saying always ask for advice. I'm gonna put that there. 
because there's simple things that are in interesting. He talks about adultery a lot, guys, and it's crazy because when you commit adultery, man, your life is gonna turn for the worse, man. He he really emphasized on adultery, so people, if you cheat, man, Boy, I don't know what to say. I drove, this is my tree of life because he always talks about the tree of life throughout the Bible. So I have the tree of life, which is wisdom. And basically, when you have wisdom, all these things will be granted to you. Longer life, peace, good good name in God's book, favor by God, right? It doesn't have to do with wisdom, but these are other things that I read that I'm like, okay, good. Do not envy the violent or choose none of their ways. So that's like when we watch baddies, baddies, you know, baddie, baddie, shot o'clock, that's literally it. Israel copying Russia with war. Results of evilness. He talks about that in the Bible. So I draw a little house of someone being cursed, poor, and sad. That's what's happening. And when you live in wisdom, look at them. They're happy. They're in love. They have a nice house. This house is broke up. And this word is so, so prominent in the book of Proverbs, understanding. And then I just talked a little bit about why. It is important to have an understanding. And then look, six things the Lord hates because he talks about this throughout the whole book of Proverbs. A proud look, a lying person, people who kill innocent people, evil heart and mind, people who are quick to engage in harm and trouble, someone who lies for someone and wasn't there, people who create problems between friends, family, and relationship. This year I drove like the whole Palestine, Israel, Russia, it's horrible. I drove Russia against Ukraine and Israel against Palestine, like it's just straight evilness. So I talk about how people bear false witnesses against people. Your honor, I saw it. Meanwhile, that person was in there and then I drew like money because this person's getting paid to tell lies. Like guys, lying is not good. Don't lie on people. There's no benefit at the end of the day. God talks about it's better to eat salad with people who love you than to eat a steak with people who do not like you. So this is also the same thing. Always ask for advice when making plans. God does always tell you guys to ask for advice. This is what happened. He he talks about things like this also in the Bible. Um, people who are easy to get angry and then versus people who are slow to get angry. So he lists out all the things. So I made a list. So guys, this is basically my notes for Bible study. And I can go on this forever because guys, try to make your Bible study notes fun and interesting. Look at this. This is what happens when you live with God. You, you're you living in the land of the good. And then it, when you are living with un, evil, evil spirits and ungodly spirits, this is what's happening. I'm starting a new book of Proverbs. I'm on page 740 currently. And then that's really it, guys. My notes, I always have like this page behind every single paper because as you see, the, the markers bleed through. So I just put that there and then put this over and then I'll start my writing. So this is the, my marriage. I'm not done. This paper is so ugly. You can't even see it actually. I'm just realizing it. But it says marriage at the top here. And I had to write this quick because as I was reading throughout the book of Proverbs, he'll discuss marriage and the importance of marriage and what is marriage. A lot of people don't realize that marriage is an agreement to God to live by his guiding guidelines. It's teaching wisdom between a man and a woman. People don't realize God is, a marriage is actually a Christian thing. It's a spiritual thing. So if you don't believe in God, why are you getting married? Because God is a covenant, which is also known as an agreement, a government. See, I didn't know what a covenant was in a long time. It talks about no cheating. Don't bring disgrace to your husband and wife. God also talks about in the Bible why women shouldn't face, shouldn't force marriages relationships and love. This is why I tell women, do not be the person looking a man. God talks about women in the Bible and how he would want them to be. Have high moral standards, respects relationship by not re seducing others or cheating. And I'm not done this, as you can see, because as I read the book of Proverbs, I add in, I just add in as time goes on. Men, okay, I have to fix this up to make it more interesting, like the title, but men are supposed to be hardworking. They should have wisdom. They should be humble. They should believe in God. Have love. As you can see, he has different stuff for each person. Be strong mentally. God talks about how men need to be strong mentally in so many different ways because God talks about a lot. There's women on this planet that are harlots, that are Jezebels, that will seduce men and will ultimately ruin their life spiritually and in the physical realm. So the Bible's too good, guys. Too good. Anyway, so this is my ugly terms page. I'm going to redo it. So here it says, it says terms. It says terms. And basically, these are all the terms in the bible because in the book of proverbs so this is all my terms so far from the book of proverbs alone so my terms book because i'm going to make like a really nice book out of this is going to be super long i didn't know for the longest time what does subtility mean what does dissolution what does reproof mean so i put an expression of blame or disproof because god uses these words what does a covenant covenant mean because a lot of people who are in with who are christians they use all these words and like can you put this in regular terms a covenant is actually an agreement all right what does calamity mean 
people talk about this. This is a word used in Jamaica and language a lot. Event causing disaster, damage, and distress. So yeah, my vocabulary is getting more mature. I love this. This is all that I do for my Bible studying, guys. So I'm still learning. I'm not saying I'm perfect. If you guys see me doing stuff, I'm not saying I'm a full-blown perfect person. I just believe in God, and I know God is real. And I try to live in his teachings. But I know the older I get, it's going to get better. Like, I'm going to be more within God and stuff. So yeah, that's my Bible studying. I hope you guys like that. So far, we're going to go on the road. Okay, see you guys in the next clip. Okay, we're going to play some dominoes. At the bar here. <laughs> Airplane loading. Yeah. Okay, here it is. It's where the Mandeville bus park if we're going to town. The bus park is right there. You guys know this. And then here it is. Say it with cakes. Can you go in? That's it. Are these the customs? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your yeah, Instagram has nice stuff too. Guys, I'm in Mandeville. And we're here at Say It With Cakes. I'm getting my cake here for my 50k photo shoot on Instagram. It's cute. Say hi. It's really cute in here. They have great customer service in here too. And then they have a selection, but you can do custom cakes as well here. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's pink and cute. So here's what we got here. Yeah, and they have black forest cheesecake. And then they do custom cakes here as well. Really vlog vlog like that in a while, but yeah, it's nice. There's another girl I go to as well, but we're gonna think about this place too. It's nice. We have it. It's looking dull, but tomorrow it looks a little bit better. Yeah. Thank God it came here. The bathroom. Oh, you have to ask. Okay, here it is. So tomorrow you guys will see me dressed up and have it on. Yeah. Guys, I'm in Mandeville still and we're at the Harbor Dash. I think it's like, I call it M51, but it's called Linton Mart and they're just doing a little bit of shopping. Oh, they have blow up bed here. Guys, we're in Christiana town. We're gonna try some jerk is on. Need some pepper. Take me a long time now. I'm in part of time. Yeah. Okay, taste test, taste test, taste test. <laughs> we already know how it tastes. What am I doing? Yes, nice. I like that record me. Taste test, taste test, taste test. Yeah, not too bad. It's really gummy though, like you have to chew. Oh yeah, it's good. <laughs> All right, so we're getting this for 450 in Christiana. These are the party poppers. Ali Cat, show her. Show them, sorry. The party popper. Yeah, so you just twist it and boom. I wonder if I should get two though, in case one goes wrong. But I do have some extra confetti at my house though. Downstairs here. But I think they're cold. It's downstairs. Okay. It's the same people that make Christiana, you know? Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. No. I hit 50,000 followers on Instagram. So maybe it'll like video on Instagram. Thank you guys so much. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me at Anisha.Adams on Instagram and stay tuned because I post a lot of short mini videos. 
Yeah, we're here at the bar. We're gonna take a shot. I'm so excited. Here at Kamika, we're just they're just helping me behind the scenes, so that's why they're not dressed up, and I'm the only one dressed up. Say hi to the vlog. Hi, baby. How are you? Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a shot quickly. One, two, three. 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 This is the confetti here, and then this is the cake. It's time for us to go indoors. Get trying to actually some challenge today. Let's go with you. We need some music. This is how it looks. It actually came out good because we use construction paper for this. But it doesn't look too bad. I thought it would look like, you know, you can tell, but you can't. So what we are doing is I will be recording a video for my Instagram as a way to say thank you for 50k. I'm so excited and I'm happy. Yay! If I stand here, yeah. you have to like angle it maybe on over. So oh, maybe if I stand here. here. Oh, you think so? Or do you want to make it more? In the ear! In the ear! Put the condom in the ear! We are going to start now, and the candles at the top, I wanted to light them, but the wind was too strong. <laughs> Here we're trying to figure out where everyone's going to stand up, who's going to throw what, who's going to pop what. We're just trying to make sure that everyone's angled correctly so it can get into the frame the right way because we only have one chance of getting this right. <laughs> Overall, it came out way better than I expected. And whoever was at the bar at the time came out to help, like this man here. And it was just nice. I don't really have any complaints at all. I'm just glad that everything came together for me to celebrate this. I hit this goal actually in 2023, but. It's because of my Jamaican content. I hit the 50K, so I knew I had to do this video in Jamaica, of course. And it was fine. We had one chance, and everyone tried their best, and we just got it. So you guys definitely check out my Instagram to see the edited video with music and everything. <laughs> Bakers were charging me ten to $12,000, and I was like, but I only need it for like two minutes. So I was so happy I found this baking company in Mandeville, and I just bought it right from their showcase. And it was so affordable. So I'm so happy I decided to stick with this. And I'm happy of the outcome. Honestly, I have to work with what I can in the area I live in, Jamaica, as well. Guys, thank you so much for 50K. I just wanted to come on camera and say thank you for following me on Instagram. I'm not the prettiest girl, but I'm just still grateful. And I don't have, I'm not associated with the only one. It's just me, Anisha Adams, Miss Adams, doing everything herself, showing my love for Jamaica, showing my lifestyle between Canada and Jamaica. And I'm just so grateful for you guys to be following me. I never in my many years thought I could hit 50K. I know it was attainable because I seen creators grow so much. I was just so thankful and I had to celebrate it. It's so small and I'm thankful to everyone. Like Jamaica, like even like random people were helping me because they were just like interested. I just want to say thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I couldn't do it without you guys liking my stuff, commenting and sharing. That's why I always tell you guys thank you so much for commenting and sharing. And I try to respond to everybody that comments because I remember when i was at on instagram like only like 100 followers 200 and i only got like two comments 10 sh 10 um follows and 10 likes and i was small and i said man i said god when is it going to be my time and slowly and surely the race is going but it's just as slow as it's going so i just want to say thank you guys so much for following me if you're not following me on instagram anisha adams on instagram tiktok anisha adams youtube anisha adams no instagram is anisha.adams but you guys will find me and look at my stuff and follow me and i just want to say thank you but yeah, here we are. So 100,000 for Instagram next, and then for YouTube, 
I want to get hit at 100,000. So we're going to do something even bigger and better for YouTube. I love it. And I did my hair myself and everything. My hair, makeup, nails. I had to put on, press on quickly. And everything. And I thank everyone for helping me. Sometimes I feel like people are not on my side, but... Yeah, I think more people like me than hate me. Super great I finally got to do this. I had this on my list, but I didn't even get to finish it. But yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> Hi guys, it's the next morning, I'm back. So I'm gonna run to Nutsford in Mandeville quickly to ship off some orders. So I have some teeth whitening kits I'm finally selling after having for so long, I'll show you guys. So this is my second customer, so I'm gonna ship it off and see if they like it. So in the teeth whitening kit, I'll show you guys what it comes with. It's hiding, there's a gel. Tooth whitening shake guy to keep track. Comes with instructions, aftercare, prior care. I tell you guys all the time that I whiten it for like three months in 2012, and ever since then I never had to whiten my teeth. Also when it comes to whitening your guys' teeth, you have to practice good oral hygiene. And I say this all the time, brush your teeth in the morning, brush your teeth at night, and every single time that you are bathing, you brush your teeth. So if you're running back out on the road, Say if like you came home and you're like, oh, I'm gonna get ready to go back on the road. You wanna do your full hygiene again. If you eat any foods that stain your teeth, curry, cranberry juice, yeah, you brush your teeth right after, especially curry. Every time I eat curry, I brush my teeth right after, especially if I'm home, I'm eating curry, I brush it right after because I know curry stains teeth because if you're from Canada, you know that you see people with curry stained teeth. I'm so grateful. This is my second order. I don't know if I can get through all this stock because I have a lot of stock. Well, it's not a lot. It's a limited amount, but I don't know if people are going to buy it because a lot of people don't really. So I'm actually grateful. So I'm only doing this in Jamaica and so far two customers. I'll put the first girl. No, I'm going to run to the main town, look for like a little envelope to put it through. Don't mind them. These are like stuff I want to take outfit photos in. So I have these hung up and then these are the outfits I'm supposed to wear for Instagram. Speaking of that, I have all these wigs on the ground here because I'm going to do a video on every single one of these and then get rid of what I don't want. And I'm going to do a reel in all these as well. This room is like the messiest room in my whole house because I have so much content I have to do out of all this stuff. I'm trying to get rid of all this stuff, all this stuff on my ground, take my photos, everything. Yeah, I'm going to go into the main town, get an envelope, head to Nutsford. I'm going to bring you guys along. I haven't brought my vlog camera with me on the road in the longest time, but we're going to do it. Wait, you guys don't have any color ones? Mm, what about that size? I don't think I need it so big. One. Why? I wonder if this is gonna fit. Okay, this is what I got. I have the front seat here. Okay, I'm in Christiana Town. I need to go check it another supermarket. Well, Harbor Dashery. Cause this, I don't I really like this. But yeah. They were at a different place here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have these sizes too. But I need something in color because this is ugly. Well, this was only ten dollars, so why not? Okay, I got these two here. The bigger one was fifty. The smaller one was like ten dollars. So. Okay, I had to pick up my nieces and nephews report card. Okay. Okay. Hi. I want to send this off to somebody, but I don't know how, what the process is. Um, pretty easy. Just a name on the person's name and where it's going. Pardon? A N S. No, A N N. My last name. Mm -hmm. Last name web with two B's. Okay. Phone number. So how do you guys price it usually? Is it based on weight or? Yes, both that is $55 for each additional. Each additional, huh? Yeah, each additional oh. phone, $55. All right, so are you guys going to put a print um, on it? Yes, yes. <coughs> based on the state that you're from. Which? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean state? You know sales stuff? I'm sending on. Give me a second order, yay! Huh? You can still keep it. Okay. Uh, 